Hello and welcome back. Today we'll be looking at padding. So I've already deleted the boilerplate app so we can get straight in. So we can start off by um, creating our scaffold. Return scaffold. Give this a nap bar. Which will have a title of text. Padding and center title tree and now we'll go ahead to the button and that will be center child container it will have a height of 300 width of 300 color will be colors stop blue and we'll also give it a child of another container and this one will just have a colour of colours dot red perfect so let's go ahead and run this so as you can see our app has loaded but instead of having a white box I mean a blue box and a red box inside it even said got a massive red box even though we didn't define any heights or width properties for it. So the reason being is because it's the child of this container it will automatically um, take the height and width for it. So to fix this what we can do is give it some padding and then we can um, change the size and also the position of the container. So here we can get the container and we can wrap it with some padding. So once that's done, we opened up here and we can change it to edgeinsets.all and we'll give it edgeinsets of 20 and once we hot reload, you'll see now that's our blue box is showing and our red box has become smaller because it's been padded 20 pixels to the right, to the left, um, up high at the top and down low at the bottom. If we wanted to change this individually we could use edges sets dot from L T R B. so um, you pass in different doubles for our um, how much you want it to be inserted by the left, right, top, etc. So if we put 50 for the left, the tops will put 0, actually let's change it to 10, right will be 10 and the bottom we can put 50. Now we've hot reloaded and you can see now our square has shifted over to the top right corner. We can also change the padding so that we only pad certain sides. So here we can do edge and set start only. And so if we wanted to pad the top with 50 and the right with 50. And we were to hot reload it. Now it's hot reloaded, you can see it's been moved into the bottom left corner. So um, the final edge sets we'll be covering today for um, padding is dot um, symmetric. So essentially this will um, pad it horizontally or vertically depending on whichever um, parameters you pass in. So if we pass in the horizontal parameter, um, whatever double we pass in will pad, um, for example if we passed in 20, it would put 20 pixels um, padding here and 20 pixels padding there. So we can go ahead and put 20 for that. And we can also put a vertical um, padding of 50. Hot reload and you'll see now that we have got this little square in here. 
So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I'll see you around.